Hi everybody, we're at uh, Staffordshire Adults Autistic Society and I've just been talking to some of the volunteers here about Periscope and they didn't know what it was, so even though it's been gained three months. So if you want to come in and interact and ask questions, you can do. Uh, I did one early this morning at Periscope uh, and uh, we had quite, I think we had about over 150 viewers uh, watching it <coughs> and interacting, so that's really good. So today I'm in the charity headquarters and this is uh, Staffordshire Adults Autistic Society website. We've got about five websites now, so I'll go through them and also I'll do a tour, a little tour of the charity and we can speak to some of the volunteers as well, uh, who are <laughs> nervously waiting <laughs> to be interviewed. Uh, so hello, junior gangster tens joined, hello. Uh, please do introduce yourself, tell us where you are, where you're from. Uh, my name's Kevin Neely, I'm the chairman of Staffordshire Adults Autistic Society, campaigner for uh, the uh, National Autistic Society, not a campaigner for National Autistic Society, campaigner for the UK, uh, charity trustee for the National Autistic Society. So I'm just going to talk a little bit about what we do now. So this is uh, the charity's website, you can go on this, it's www.saas.uk.com. Uh, it's me. Uh, just talking about uh, the charity's websites. Don't forget you can click on and share this uh, Periscope. So this is the charity's website. You can go on and look at it, uh, another website. Jens Fick has just joined us, so hello Jens. Uh, <coughs> this is my uh, particular website, this is my campaign website. So this is kevinneely.net. So you can see the website link there, kevinneely.net, and this is my blog site, which I don't, I do blog, but I just haven't had time. Oh, oh there's the last blog. Oh, look, it's Katie Hopkins. <laughs> uh, my thought on Katie Hopkins mocking, mocking tweets, uh, and I wrote an article on her on the Offington Post, so if you just Google my name, and you can actually see the article about uh Katie Hopkins. That was my last blog on the 7th of July. So if you've just joined us, uh, this is a periscope about the uh, charity which I'm involved in. Uh, this is another website. This is uh, twinbrothersworldspart.com. <coughs> There's the website link there. www.twinbrothersworldspart.com then we've got another website here, which is uh, the anti-bullying website, which is autism-campaign.co.uk. Uh, that's anti-bullying website. And as you can see there, we have lots of uh, people supporting the campaign. We've got these charities who back the campaign, got the National Autistic Society, Autism West Midlands, patient.co.uk, and uh, Autism in Scotland. Ambitious about autism. Uh, then we've got uh, celebrity supporters who support the campaign. <coughs> so if you look here, somebody uh, named Sav has just joined. So hello. Uh, this is about the anti bullying campaign. So we've got different celebrities supporting and backing the campaign. We've got Ricky Gervais, Melanie Sykes. Luke Goss, Alec Reid, Michael Barrymore, Deb Douglas, Daniel Stubb, Matt Goss. Tanya's just joined. Hello, Tanya. Uh, please do tell us who you are, where you are, which part of the world are you from, and a little bit about yourself. So we've got Matt Goss and Luke Goss. Uh, they support the campaign. We've got Dr Pam Spur, who's a life coach. We've got Emma Noble, actress. Chris Maloney, Lydia Bright. Uh, we've got Holly Matthews, Lorraine's just joined us. Good morning, good afternoon rather to you, Lorraine. Uh, we've got Katie Price. Uh, we've got uh, a lady named Grey Dillas Griffin, who's a voiceover for... Uh, she's an American actress, voiceover for different cartoons. We've got Ali E B E 2404 who've just joined us on the Periscope. So, hello everybody. My name's Kevin Neely, I'm a national campaigner, ambassador for autism in the UK and today we're at the charity headquarters 
just doing a tour around and talking to you a little bit about the company. We've got here uh, the next website. So I've shown you uh, about four websites there. <coughs> Excuse me. We've got this new website, which is uh, it's a really good uh, campaign, which come up with an idea. It's called Virtual Brick Campaign by a Brick for Autism. And if you go on the website, it's autismblog.autismblog.org.uk. And you can actually see uh, this campaign. It's called Virtual Brick Campaign by a Brick for Autism. And I think we've got about six people. The campaign was only set up a few days ago. We've got six people who, who've actually brought virtual bricks. And if you buy a brick, you get your name added onto this virtual brick. You can get yours now by just clicking here uh, to get your virtual brick. So basically, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> uh, I've just come down from a really bad cold, so I've got this uh, lingering cold, so I apologise for that. So... This campaign which we've got running at the moment, it costs the charity about £5,000 a year to run the charity. Uh, so uh, we have launched this campaign just to get people to buy a brick. So if you can share this, click on the periscope now and share it. And we've got Rick, Rick Ratchid, 2345, who's joined. Uh, so if you just click on this website link, Autism Blog. Uh, hello, Ratchid, hi, thanks for joining us. Bazzy G's just joined us. We've got Love Arts coming in. Yes, send Love Arts. Click down here somewhere or tap the screen if you like the Paris. So we've got more people coming in now. Uh, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. How are you? Uh, so we've got people interacting with us now. Uh, where, are, where are we from? We're from Staffordshire in the United Kingdom. Uh, sorry if I'm talking to a little bit too fast because we've just got so much to say. Uh, and we're only going to be on this for about 10 or 15 minutes. So just coming back to this campaign website, if you go onto the campaign blog, which is autismblog.org.uk, you can go on there and buy a brick. So uh, they are the campaign websites. I'll uh, take you back to them. AU from... Well, I don't know what that means. Can you, I'm not sure what that means. Uh, if you can... <laughs> and lie to me what that means, I'm not sure. Uh, and if we do get any trolls on here, I'll block you straight away, so uh, be warned. So, yeah, I'll take you a zoom around the charity now. So over here, <coughs> we've got all our units, notice boards. We've got some awards over here, which the charity have won. Uh, are you from Morocco? Uh, we are from the United Kingdom and Staffordshire. Uh, so thanks for joining us here. So here we've got some awards which the charity has won. So this one here, just move this box out of the way. Uh, your voice is so cute. Uh, really, I don't think so. It's an horrible accent, it's a Stoke-on-Trent accent. Uh, so we've got a, uh, uh, an award which we won, uh, which was uh, from uh, the Queen. My face is here, by the way, but I'm just showing you around the charity. We've got here uh, an award which we won from uh, the Queen, which is the Queen Golden Jubilee Award, which the charity's got its own knighthood, and that's the award which we got there. And we've got some other awards here. Uh, we've got a Voluntary Organisation Award which was, uh, we don't really want that coffee jar in the background, so we'll move that out of the way. We've got uh, uh, an award here, which we won, and an award there, and uh, the biggest award any charity can get there. So we won that award, and that's the box to the award there. So I'll just pop that there. <coughs> then over here, it's just all off his stuff. We've got over here some certificates, which volunteers have uh, won. Uh, and over here you've got our notice board with lots of information. As you can see, it's really busy. Then down here we've got lots of photographs. Uh, and we've got Julie there. You'll be speaking to her in a second. <laughs> she's a bit nervous, but she's a bit she's a bit shy because she hasn't done a periscope before. So we've got <laughs> Julie there and me. Here we've got a check from Sainsbury's and we've got some other photographs here uh, of the charity. So as you can see, lo lots of uh, busy things going on. 
conferences, awarenesses. We've got here a photography. We've got Julie there talking to the Queen. So she's not really shy. She spoke, as you can see, she spoke to the Queen. So uh, that's we won a charity award there. And then we've got other photographs. We've got uh, outings and events. Uh, more photographs there. <coughs> Then we've got a, uh, thanks for joining us, we've got more people joining in on the Periscope. As you can see, we've got loads and loads and loads of books. So we've got lots of books which people can borrow. So we've got a library of over 100 books which people can uh, take out. Poor connection, apologise for the poor connection. Uh, we are on Wi-Fi. Uh, we've got a good signal, so apologise for that. So in here, we've got... Uh, the uh, the library, the autism library. Uh, the moment on the moment, I'm just promoting this uh, campaign, which we've got here. We're well, not a campaign, rather. It's workshops for uh, people to attend free autism workshops. So I'm just promoting that at the moment. Uh, awareness campaigns. So I'm just getting around the charity now. We'll uh, speak to Steve. Steve's one of our volunteers. So Julie can actually see the periscope now. Can you see the periscope now, Julie? Yes, okay. So we'll uh, we'll ask Steve a few questions. So Steve, why do you volunteer for the charity? Because yeah, it's fun. Because it's fun. <laughs> okay. So what what are you what are you doing today, Steve? Uh, writing envelopes and letters for uh, charity, and that's it. Really. So you're promoting the uh, autism workshops. So, and how long have you been volunteering for? On and off, a few years now, is it, Joe? About a few years, brilliant. So we'll go over to Julie now, Julie's busy over there, she's just preparing to have her lunch. She's got some sandwiches and crisps there and a cup of coffee. <laughs> so, Julie, how long have you been volunteering for? About five years. About five years, so you met the Queen as well, haven't you, Julie? Yes, I And what did you say to the Queen? Admin work, yeah. yeah. And you've just won an award, haven't you? You've been nominated for an award. I'm nominated. So tell I'm us a tell, tell us a bit about that. I was nominated for the Sentinel Awards Award for volunteers. Yeah, we've got a photograph of that, haven't we, somewhere? Oh, yeah, but I took it home. oh she's taken it home already. <laughs> she's taken the photograph home already. Uh, she put them on Facebook. So as you can see there, Julie's got a really busy desk there. She's got lots going on there. So what are you doing at the moment, Julie, at the charity? Uh, I'm sorting out all the receipts and uh, putting on the... I'm sorting out all the um, expenditure and that for the charity. Yeah, so what's your role on the charity, Julie? Treasurer, so Julie's got the most complicated, complex jobs of all. So Julie is, uh, thanks for that Julie, thanks. Julie's got one of the most complicated jobs of all. She's a treasurer, she, she has to sort all the money out and everything. So uh, yeah, that's just a short uh, scope of uh, today about the charity and what we do. If you want to find out more about the charity, you can visit the website again, which is this one here, which is www sas.uk.com and you can look on the charity website there which you can see <clears throat> and also you can go on to uh, the other websites uh, which is that one there uh, that one there <clears throat> so you can screenshot these if you want while I'm going along uh, you can go on that one there autism campaign and you can go on the new campaign which is the virtual uh, Brit campaign website <clears throat> 